Guys, how are we doing? So I'm back on the golf course. I've been off um, the past week or so. I've been doing a lot of practicing. Still a bit of teaching here and there. Um, but generally getting back out on the golf course because I've done a lot of technical work over the winter, um, which has definitely paid off. But I need to get back out on the golf course. I need to start shooting some good scores, build my confidence, pre-shot routine, um, and all that kind of stuff. Getting back into the routine of playing competitive golf. Tournament schedule has been released, which is brilliant. I'm going to do a video on that and show you guys what tournaments I'll be entering and also how you can check my scores um, online and everything like that. Um, and I'll give you a few updates of what's happening this week. Um, swing's looking good. That block right's gone. I'm crunching the driver now, which is really exciting. So hopefully I'll be able to show you some of that. Uh, and general all in all is starting to look um, uh, much better anyway. So I'll show you guys and give you an update of what's to come. So guys, apologies again. We haven't got the shot tracer you am working and it's not because my tripod so I used my tripod today, it's actually because of the camera and when you upload HD films to the iPhone and you try and put it through the shot tracer app, it doesn't actually work. So this whole video doesn't have the shot tracer again, so I have to apologize. However, I am hitting the ball a lot better. Um, and mainly I did have all this footage that I took today I didn't want it to go to waste um, and in the future I'm just going to have to use both my phone and my camera um, just so that we can get both sides of it obviously they're good quality as well as obviously you guys seeing where I'm actually hitting the ball so as an update on my swing um, I've changed my grip um, slightly it's a bit stronger so that right hand's a bit more over um, to the right hand side and basically all that's allowing me to do now is um, have that club face a lot more closed. It feels so much more comfortable, so much more repeatable. All the swings you'll see me hit today, they're very much um, fully committed to. Um, I feel a lot more balanced and I feel like I can just hit it and I'm not having to worry about uh, where the position of my club is in my backswing, downswing. All I've literally got to think about is how far the flag is, what club I want to hit, um, and then I just hit it. And then it's purely down to like poor choices from there. If the shot doesn't go well, that is. So, I mean, the greens are still frozen around Sanford. Um, so I did the best I could. Um, and I basically just played golf as I aimed at the target. And if the shot was pulled off, then I'd be happy with it. If it bounced out of the back of the green, then I wasn't particularly worried. Um, and I kind of gave it like uh, an idea of double practice. Like I've hit straight at the flag, landed six foot from the flag, brilliant. On a, in the summer, that'd be fantastic. And then it goes out the back, and then I just get up and down from wherever I am. So you'll see me playing some shots here. I mean, I've pretty much got a soft draw going on at the moment. Um, and everything seems to be working, pitching and putting definitely needs to be work on, however I do box this, I know the flag's in because obviously that's to show you guys where it is, it might have not gone if the flag wasn't here, so um, we could say um, that might have not been shot but I'm taking the birdie when I can, um, but overall I'm feeling a lot more confident in my golf swing, so much more confident in being a lot more aggressive on the golf course I can definitely take my driver I feel like I can take my driver in a lot tighter spots um, and I haven't got the massive disruptive right shot I still get a block right here and there but I mean we're talking like 10-15 yards away from my target not 40-50 which is just well did kill me um, and also my tournament schedule has been uploaded so I'm going to do a video um, which I said at the start I'm going to do a video either tomorrow or the next day and show you guys um, basically how I enter tournaments um, my thought process on where I want to play how regularly I'm going to be playing um, but I've looked at the schedule briefly and it's looking like I'm going to be playing about uh, 25 events next year and the idea is going to be, can I make a profit? So I'm going to give you all my expenses and then how much money I'm winning um, when I come top five um, and so on. So overall, really happy with the game. Driver's going a lot further. I mean, that driver just hit there. I'm near the greenside bunkers. That's probably gone about 310. I mean, that's probably also to do with the fact that the 
grounds absolutely frozen. Um, but going forward to this weekend, Sunday, I'm going to be playing with another YouTuber, Ollie. Um, I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description below. I'm really looking forward to that. Get some feedback, obviously gain some knowledge that he has and experiences um, from obviously the YouTube side of it and also get a competitive round in for his channel and um, my channel as well, which would be really good. So overall, everything is looking pretty good. I'm so <laughs> excited to get the season going. Looking forward to the weather getting a bit warmer so I can start um, just getting used to the conditions for next year. Um, but this is the strongest I've been at this time of year. The work that I've put on the range has definitely paid off. I'm looking to work on a lot more of my short game going forward um, over the next coming months. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy. This par three was definitely a bit tough, especially with that frozen green. I've put it a bit further back, but however, this chip that's coming up right now was world class. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I promise Shot Tracer will be in the next one, and I'll see you guys later.